Oh, okay. I think she might be my favorite character. <laughs> I think she might be my favorite character so far. Okay. Koi to Yobu. Um, I have no idea <laughs> what this is about. Um, it's I saw romance and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Like, why not? Hormi is ending soon. So here we go. I saw some like early like thoughts on it on Twitter and people said that, you know, it was cute, romantic, you know, chill, not really like drama-esque. So we're going to see. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know at the, oh, well, oh, I did that all wrong. Let's get started. Episode one. Wait, is he about to like fall into the, oh, did she save his life? We need to see it. Ooh. Oh! Oh, okay. This is how we're starting. Wait, is this is this real? Is he like a businessman and she's a high schooler? Yes, Wall. Yes, I love it. Oh, yeah, look at the magical girls. Wait, who is this girl? Is this your wife? Uh... Oh, maybe he was just like sleeping over her place. What is what does this show have to do with Huh? Oh, come on. I mean, if I were her, I definitely would have been like, "What?" Oh. Okay, so I guess she's not important. She only had like two lines anyway. Ooh. Oh, this is what happens. <gasps> wow. Okay. Now this is... Okay. She's about to give him her breakfast. Wait, the, the voice... Huh? Is that her lunch? Well, now he has to return it to her. So here we go. That's her lunch. Ooh. Is he really about to throw it away? Okay. Don't do this. Okay, but all of that looks delicious. Once again, anime food looking damn near better than a real life alternative. Is ever okay? You know, let me not say that out loud. Let me not say that. Oh. I thought it was gonna be a boy. Okay. This is interesting. What is the age difference, though? Give her a lunchbox back, or did you throw it away like a douche? I don't think he's a douche. Yet. Ooh! Whoa! Okay. So he's a man whore? What? Oh, she's probably disgusted with him. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, this is perfect. So I guess he's been so cocky with his looks. <laughs> I love it. I guess he's gonna learn to love himself. No, girl, you right. Where is her lunchbox? <gasps> I feel like this is even more creepy. Yeah, she's not here for it. I okay, so he's. Oh, is his sister gonna hit him? <laughs> okay, so he's gonna be chasing her, and then she's gonna. Okay, I'm I'm interested to see this cat and mouse game. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh no, her mom is completely on board. <laughs> oh, she thinks it's funny. And he's fairly loaded. Yes, Kuzka, yes, yes. Oh, okay. I think she might be my favorite character. <laughs> I think she might be my favorite character so far. I can I can kind of already see another love interest on both sides coming out. I think the woman that he just slept with is going to be his. And I think the guy with the glasses is going to be hers. What are you doing? Oh, he's he's on the level of not even saving numbers. Oh! <laughs> I think he's a bit too advanced for her. I wonder what will happen when he finds... Oh my god, wait, those girls on the wall, they look kind of like Yuki Yuna. She just told you it was a bother. Okay. Under regular circumstances, y'all, this would be considered harassment. But, you know, we're suspending belief right now. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Someone's gonna hit him before the episode is over. It might be her. It's not gonna be the sister. He's a masochist. <laughs> He's a masochist. Oh. Wait, am I getting those words mixed up? If he shows up in her neighbor, oh. Well, he does have the address, so that makes sense. But this is stalking now. <laughs> this is kind of reminiscent of um, Hori and Miyamura, except he's inflicting it on himself purposefully while she's like begging Miyamura to do it to her. <laughs> okay. This isn't as funny as Horimiya, but it does have its moments. Like, it's, I think it's like a much more consistently funny. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Why did his, okay, the sister told him everything because she thinks this is hilarious. You wouldn't be ashamed if you didn't like him. Oh, does he know? Oh, no. <laughs> no, girl, this is so, okay. Oh, he's doing it on purpose. Oh, I thought they were in the train. And she has like no experience with boys. That's a lie. That's a lie for him because he does have experience with women. He just only slept with them. He never dated. <laughs> Look at her. She okay. I really enjoy that she's not with it. Like she's not with the shits at all. I'm surprised he didn't escort her home and, and meet the mom. Wow. That is so corny. Oh, maybe this could go like down the Wotakoi vibes or a path. Even though I love Wotakoi to death. Oh my goodness. This is creepy. Stop. <laughs> Rio, get, get a good in the girl. Girl. Okay. Oh, I mean, there's, okay, yeah, there, there must be good things about dating him, but you're scum still. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. He doesn't even remember her name. 
やいやえー<笑>どうん悪い人ではないです。He treats her better than he's treating any of y'all. So, duh! He gonna have to deal with that. Oh! Wow. I, I'm not even threatened by that at all. <laughs> I feel like she's just going to be on the sidelines the whole time pushing them together. Okay, so this was cute. I know I spent a lot of time comparing it to other like romance anime while watching the first episode. So of course that's gonna be like weird, but no, not weird. You know, I'm just comparing it to other things that I'm familiar with. And it kind of gave me Wotakoi vibes simply because the main girl, the main female protagonist, like she's an otaku and so, you know, She was relating things throughout it, and that is one of my that was one of my favorite things in Wotakoi, where they both were literally like, We we are of the same volitions, and we will not be sacrificing any of this for a relationship. And I think that that's gonna be something that she has to deal with, but also, I don't think he's gonna have a problem with it because I think he's just going to like want her, period, no matter what. And I also think that all the older women that he's been sleeping with without like actually caring about them or their feelings are definitely. Going to be a roadblock, and I think it was pretty good that they introduced that early, like in the first episode. And the pacing so far was decent, but I feel like there's a little bit something missing that's like grabbing me and drawing me in. I definitely didn't really feel that like moved by the music, except for the opening. The opening was extremely catchy, and I'm probably gonna go search for that on Apple Music or Spotify right now because I know that was it was really it was a bop. It was a bop as far as like. The male protagonist.、Um, I like his sister. <laughs> I like his sister. I think that maybe if they had, like, kind of, like, you know, inched up to him acting like this by the end of the episode, I would have been a little bit more interested. But, or maybe if they had, like, both disliked each other and then, you know, it became, like, you know, enemies to lovers kind of thing, I think I would have enjoyed that also. Which, I guess I have to be clear that I'm, it's not that I didn't enjoy this. Because I was definitely, you know, like laughing, giggling, talking. But at the same time, I just feel like it's not really stacking up to the other things that I like. But I did enjoy it. So I'm going to give it a few more episodes. And if I don't like it, then you guys won't see it anymore. And, you know, if it does end up like picking up or, you know, this was just the beginning and it's lighthearted for now. And then, not to say that it needs to get dark, but. I need, I'm, something's missing. I don't know what it is. I know, I think the manga had what, eight volumes from what I saw. So I think it's a pretty short show. I think it'll be like a one and done season. But I don't know. There's just something. If you guys are like manga readers, let me know. Is this basically like the general way that things go? Are there like little vignettes throughout each of the episodes where it's all like isolated incidents? There's no, there's not a huge overarching plot for the most part. Like there is one, but. It's not like we're gonna have like huge arcs every like two to three episodes. Is it just like, you know, small stuff? I guess maybe similar to Horror Mia ish. I don't know. I keep comparing stuff to Horror Mia, but I mean, how can I not? Oh my God. I know a lot of y'all are not very happy with Horror Mia and where it is right now, but hey, it just, it just is what it is. It just is what it is. That's. That I still love it, but that's coming from me as like an anime only watcher. So, you know, take, take it for what you will. But this show was cute. I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna see, but I'm definitely interested to see what you guys thought of it because if y'all didn't like it, then I really ain't got no business continuing to cover it. So, let me know what you thought. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Source material people, let me know. Anime onlys, let me know what you thought. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.